Boy, they kept, they kept saying it was Tillman. Yeah, a lot of people had that opinion. One hop couldn't uh, be made, and they are going to get the out at second base anyway. So a nice job there for Valera. Pugh's back. Pitch this one into right field, and Smith giving chase, still giving chase. Into right center field, he takes it for the out. Barfield not a very big lead. It will be running with the pitch, but. There he goes, pitch, broken bat, little roller, and Carranza's got it, he takes it to the bag himself, so. You know, you don't always have to have the shutdown stuff, you know, you're not letting anybody on base, you just got to be able to not give up the big hit when there are people on board. Swing, broken bat, Luber toward right field, out to get it is Valera in short right field, he makes the catch. You used to see that in the postseason with those extra umpires swinging a Ground ball to second. Valera has it oh. going to his right. Throws and gets the lead runner at second base. Valera, what a play. I said right going to his left. Threatening the first. We're turned away. Here's the pitch. Swung on. That's hit hard. But Wes Wallace is there to make the catch. Star game. Very much like Wes Wallace. A lot of home runs. This one lashed into left field. That one's going to hook into the corner. It's going to bounce off the lumpy sign. Here goes West digging for a second. The throw's going to be cut off. And West Wallace has got himself a two-out double. And it's open for different outcome this time. This one gets by. They headed down to second base. The ball skipped off the grass and then caromed off the boards. Man, the big red machine was not my favorite thing. <laughs> that ball is hit hard. Left center field and deep. And this one is gone a home run. Did someone say Johnny Bench? <laughs> a two-run blast for Joel Carranza with two outs. So Blatnik gets that uh, little pop-up base hit that keeps the inning alive. And Carranza puts the Diamonds on the board with a two-run home run. And it's the Diamonds, too. And the Clippers, nothing. McDonald to the plate. Caffrey lines this one in the left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Coming over is O'Donnell to pick it up. Coming in to score is Etheridge. And going down to third base now will be Devin Carter. And on at first with an RBI single is Chris Caffrey. One run on six hits for the Clippers. Two runs on three hits for the Diamonds. This pitch is grounded right up the middle, and it's going to be Garcia stepping on second, throwing the first double play. Runner at first, nobody out. Here's the pitch grounded right back up the middle to Garcia. Garcia flips it to second for one, and Valera to first double play. Here's a pitch, swung on and lifted high, down the right side, foul, and Carranza over near the fence, and he's there, and he makes the catch right against the fence. Very tough to do, and that's out number one. McDonald looks back at second in the pitch. Swung on, and that one is lifted high and deep to center field. Back goes Wallace. Wallace on his way to the warning track. He looks like it's going to go up against the wall. He picks it up, and I think it's going to be a ground rule double because it bounced over the fence and hit the uh, green background back there for the batters. And that's going to be a ground rule double, but it will score a run. And now we get, it looks like Alex Leach is up throwing in the bullpen. Here's a pitch from McDonald. Swung on. And lifted the left side deep, I mean, to O'Donnell in left field. And he makes a catch at the foul line and throws back in. And they're two down. Not a typical cleanup hitter is Valera. First and second with nobody out. The first pitch to Valeri swinging away, and he lines this one to the left side, and it's going to go into left field for a base hit. Rounding third is Blatnick coming to the plate. Here comes the throw. It will not go to the plate. Blatnick will score. The Diamonds lead it 3-2. to two. The 1-1 one, one pitch here, and that's one ground ball right side, base hit in right field. Carranza will come to score, and here comes Valera motoring his way to the plate. He will score, and it is now 5-2 to two in favor of the Pittsburgh Diamonds. And uh, the Diamonds picked up a couple of hits off him. Here's one hopping over towards second. Garcia behind the bag has got it, throws him out, and one up and one down go three times through the order. Here's the pitch swing, and this ball... Hit into right field and fairly deep. Smith back. He's there now. Makes the catch. And quickly two up and two down here in the inning. And here's Jimmy Lunardelli. And now Alex Leach will come on to uh, see if he can close this thing down here for Pittsburgh. So Leach will come in. He'll inherit two runners with just one out. So this is 
one of those situations for a reliever where it's doubly tough. Not only do you come on and you got to hold the lead for your team, but you don't come into that clean inning. Not a lot of margin for error as we take a look at that uh, split screen here on Bay Area Sports TV. All right, back here for the top of the night. Last chance here for the Clips. Caffrey, Grasso, and then back to the top of the order for Pedro Barrios. So both starting pitching now doing well. Corey McDonald very well. Drew Bravo in the, the sense that uh, they had a, a, a reliever come in and he was able to extend past the fifth inning as he went fifth, five plus. The 0-2 pitch, swung on and missed strike three. Ball gets away, they'll tag the batter and the ball game is over. The Diamonds get the sweep and uh, Sean Johnson comes in and picks up the save. He walked the tightrope, he made it extra exciting but he got the job done and it's back-to-back -back wins here for Pittsburgh against Martinez.